In today's video, which I hope to keep short as usual, I'm going to be talking a little bit about audio taper um, and a little bit about linear uh, taper. Like for example, if you look at what my multimeter is connected to, this is a volume control which came out of a unit that I'm scrounging for parts which gave me the idea to make this video. Um, this has what is called audio taper and if you look at this here this is a potentiometer which I sometimes use for uh, breadboarding um, this is what is called linear taper and taper itself is basically the relationship between the resistance of a potentiometer and its rotation so looking at this say, um, linear tapered potentiometer that I'm holding in my hand basically the resistance is going to change in proportion to the degree of rotation so what I'm going to do now is determine the taper of this linear potentiometer and if I connect an ohmmeter say between one end of the potentiometer and the other lead of the ohmmeter to the wiper of the potentiometer basically the wiper the part that moves we rotate the potentiometer halfway and if the ohmmeter reads about half of the total resistance then we know we have linear taper like here let me go ahead and show this here the total here is about 893 um, kilo ohms or 893,000 ohms so half of that would be around 450,000 a little bit less than 450,000 um, but it would be over 400,000 so let me go ahead and show that so if I take this and if I turn it exactly halfway right here is around halfway um, and we can see here it's showing about 436,000 and if we do or 435,000 and if we double that it would be we would be having right over 870,000 so basically right now we're halfway and we got half a day half of the resistance we rotated the put geometer 50% and we get 50% of the resistance. That's basically linear taper. And basically I should mention now that if we um, we have 50% of the total again as I just mentioned we have 50% of the total resistance at 50% of rotation so that means we have 50% basically taper. Now what I'm holding here is a potentiometer with audio taper this came out of a receiver basically it's a volume control and because the human ear receive uh, perceives basically loudness in a nonlinear way you can't use a linear potentiometer so what this thing basically does is it basically matches the characteristics of basically the human hearing the human ear so with audio taper that means basically if we have 50 percent of rotation then the resistance should be much less than 50 percent uh, it might be on the order of 10 20 basically 10 20 percent or so so we're going to have a small change in resistance basically in the first half of rotation and a larger change in the um yeah second half um second half of the rotation basically I think they used to also call this um, um, left hand logarithmic or something like that okay let me go ahead and um, basically show this now um, I made a little mark here let's see what's the total total is uh, okay 83k so halfway should be about well 41 41 point um, 5k but again this is a um, 
put in Jamro with audio taper. So if I reach the halfway point, let me set this up right. I made a little marks here so I can kind of orientate myself from behind the camera so I can see something. So we'll go ahead and turn this halfway. And the total again is like 80, I think it was 83K, 83,000 ohms. So halfway should be right about, uh, it's hard to say, right about there. Um, looking at it from behind the camera, and I can't tell if my mark is 100% straight, but you generally you should be able to get the idea. Notice now we have 50% rotation of this potentiometer, right? But look at the resistance. It's only maybe around 12K of a total or rather 12,000 ohms of a total of 83,000 ohms. So that's basically um, that's basically audio taper. Now that's basically how you would um, measure that. There's also something called uh, reverse taper, reverse taper basically, and um, it, it's the opposite way of audio taper. It's going to have like most of the resistance change is going to be before you hit the 50% and then uh, very little after that basically. And here I made a little chart here um, shows the percent of rotation from 0 to 100% and here the percent of uh, resistance from 0 to 100 um, and if we remember when I talked about linear taper 50% rotation and if we go straight up here to the 50% uh, mark, 50% rotation, we know if it's a linear potentiometer equals 50% resistance. So that would be right there. Basically, it would be a uh, one, basically one to one correspondence. So if we had 70% um, rotation, then we would have 70% of the total resistance. 80% of rotation, we would have 80% of total resistance. Of course, the audio taper now. Um, that looked completely, basically completely different. I think this one had like, um, at 50% of the rotation of the volume control, it had around, I think it was around 12% of the um, total resistance. So we could say, for example, if it would have 12%, then we would say this would have a audio, basically taper of of 12%. So I hope this video has been halfway uh enlightening um, and I'm gonna see if I manage to actually keep this thing under uh, five minutes probably not it's probably gonna be between five and ten minutes so um, that was my little input to that subject thanks for watching